Hi, Scottish Mark Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we're back on the coastal path and we're heading east from Dysart along to Leven. Thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a minute to subscribe to the channel. Massive thanks to everyone for helping to support this channel through Kofi, Etsy and Amazon. We really couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much for that. Okay, cool. So we found a wee bit of blue. It is quite a wee bit. Yeah. Can you see it? Yes, yes, it's, it's very blue. <laughs> which makes it quite distinct from its uh, surroundings. I'm going to just yeah. put my hand there so you can see. Nice wee nugget. Yeah. Yeah, cool. it's a nice wee bit. Yep, I'll take that. Okay, so where is it? Where? Okay, so, uh, as per usual, just shout at the screen if you can see it. <laughs> I want to pick it up. <laughs> okay, Nicole's going to show you where it is. Okay, and it's... Almost it's center of the screen, yeah, there. right there. <laughs> there we go, if you hadn't spotted it. Right there. <laughs> I'm going to take it out now. Ooh, lovely clear marble. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Perfectly round. Mm-hmm. Not well, there's a few chips on it, but nothing to nothing to complain about, eh? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. It's, it's, it's relatively hard to spot. But once you know you're looking for a round object within like organic objects, uh, it's relatively easy to spot. Well, I see that. <laughs> we can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's happened yet again. I said, oh, let's get back to the car. And uh, well, yeah, we found this it's a really lovely wee piece of frosted white sea glass there. But that's not what caught my eye. What caught my eye is just up here. I think I'm going to ask Nicole to pop in. And uh, I mean, I'm sure you can see it now. If you can just maybe pick that piece up, that's a lovely wee piece of light blue. That's very oh, it's quite big. Actually. That's oh, very nice. It? That's. A, that's <laughs> oh. I'm tempted to say that's pendant sized. It is. It is. It is a tear it's shape. A beautiful wee piece. Yeah. What a lovely we find that. <laughs> that's that uh, other piece that I found for comparison. That's also nice. It's nice. It's <laughs> nicely frosted, but that blue piece is lovely. Yeah, it's electric turquoise. That's really nice. Yeah, my absolute favourite colour. Okay, well, let's get back to the car. Yeah, great train, hun. Yeah, it really is. Did you just find something? Yeah, you found two fossil rocks. Okay, two cool. Fossil. Two fossil rocks. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Okay, yeah, we can see these. They're quite clear. The sun's glaring a little, so I'm not sure just how how clear it is down the camera. I'm trying to have an over the top look. Okay. But yeah, you can see the shapes of the uh, shells that are fossilized in these rocks. Yeah, I'll turn this one over because it looks totally different from oh, the wow, other side. Yeah. Lots of little things trapped in there. Lots of detail. Yeah. And I just switched off the camera and I glanced up and I saw this. It's a real, a real nugget of a piece. It's, it's green glass. It's uh, quite dark. Not sure if you can actually see the colour. We'll try and hold that or maybe move it against the light. You can see a hint of the green there, I think. Really lovely, chunky piece. Definitely taking that. But I have seen this, now I wonder, is that a beat? 
it's maybe a little bit large for a bead it's probably just a wee bit of stone but it's so beautifully rounded now we can see that clearly I'm gonna pick that up take it over to Nicole oh it's a bead I found a bead <laughs> I found a beautiful beautiful it might be milk glass it could just be a ceramic <gasps> bead but it's a beautiful white bead oh. lovely wee thing now it's not a crab claw so I'm not very happy about it uh, but nonetheless I suppose oh. it would be a shame to leave it here wouldn't it <laughs> no yeah that's exactly what I was hoping to make alright ok a stone bead so yeah. well Nicole's going to make stone beads whilst I uh, mean well I'll see what I can do to find them. Oh. Let's have a closer look at that. So I just found this little bead over there and uh, it's always one of the three things that I really like to find at the beach. One is the first one is probably the cod marble, uh, the second one is a beet, and the third one is a stopper. So bucket list find today. So when you find the beet, your first thought is probably somebody lost a piece of jewellery. But there is another option. It's as likely, if not more likely, that beach found beads like this were attached to bobbins for making lace as a good friend of mine has suggested. There was a high demand for lace from the 1500s all the way up to the Victorian period. This allowed a cottage industry to develop throughout the UK. Lace would have been commissioned by large estates and wealthy households and on top of that tradesmen would barter and buy this handmade lace for markets in Edinburgh, Glasgow and Dundee. Most of the lace was made by women and this work was a significant income for any family household. Lace making, in fact, was so important to a household's income that many men would make lace in the winter months. I love finding beads because these are a little piece of history, knowing that this was used by a person and knowing that it tells a story about the past makes every bead a really special find. Each bead is a part of a story that reminds us about how important women's work has always been. And when you find a bead at the beach, it might have come from a bobbin from a lace maker. Now I've just found something quite remarkable that I know Nicole's going to be very excited about but I'm going to show you first because Nicole's up the other end of the beach but to have a look at this we're going to have to have a look down Now that is very cool, that's such a nice find As I said, I won't move this until Nicole gets a chance to get along because I know she'll be very excited to see that Oh my god, that's a beauty! Oh! Oh! Oh, that 
are so pretty. It's a nice one, isn't it? It's really lovely, look. Oh, it has, did you see the blue streaks in it? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't actually. I didn't oh, see around that side. Look, look. I'll hold it so you can see it. It's like a wee planet. It is, yeah. What an amazing find. Given that I've been in this area and looked around and found the shoe and the driftwood, well, never that, saw this. That's one of the things, isn't it? It doesn't matter how many times you kind of look, there's always something left around to find. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there is, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just mesmerised by this wonderful marble. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, what can you find? Huh? Do you know, the funny thing is, you were, you were being a wee bit sarky about the shoe. <laughs> I did see the shoe and it was just when I thought, oh no, the best find today is going to be a shoe. <laughs> And then I turned around and just saw that. It's lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. Do you oh do you think that's set class? That I'm looks sure. it's very blue. Yeah, it does look very blue. Okay. Oh wow. This side. That it's like that looks like that's multicolored from here yeah. it looks like there's green at the bottom blue at the top or maybe i don't know ah oh wow that's oh, iridescent wow. is it that's really cool oh it might be opalescent glass when it's wet i don't know that's really amazing it's kind of blue and green that's lovely mm. that's very nice i'll tell you what for a day that started off looking a bit grim <laughs> you know we're finding pebbles yeah. uh, old bricks uh -huh. fallen rock uh -huh. we've found some really nice things we have yeah we've just got to be persistent sometimes yeah but that piece is really special now i don't uh -huh. know is that an air bubble down there as well no that's a scuff it no it's scuff? an air bubble is it? yeah yeah oh wow yeah, yeah i think it might be opalescent because opalescent glass when it gets wet it has that kind of bluish sheen but this one's really unusual with a kind of green sheen. We have to yeah. wait until it's dry. We'll wait until that's dry and uh -huh. we'll get a photograph of it because yeah. it has an almost luminescent green it does, that yeah. comes through it. Yeah. And it's kind of petrol blue. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, really pretty. <laughs> Let's have a look at that through some light and we'll see if we can actually pick up some more of those colours. All right, yeah. Well, I didn't say uh, we were going back to the car, but nonetheless, it's, we've somehow had that effect. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I found something gorgeous. <laughs> what have you found? I found a beautiful marble. <laughs> it's the second marble today, so I'm really excited because I found it this time. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is the first time Nicole's found a marble on this beach. I'm not gloating, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, let's have a wee look and we'll see it. Yeah. You stood on it. Oh no, I stood on top of the marble. Oh. And here was me thinking, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll scan past this piece of uh, this glass. Nice enough, sort of like baby blue colour. So what Nicole's found is infinitely nicer. It's this beautiful blue marble. Yeah, it's like a blue planet. Oh, that is so, so, oh look, oh that is like a planet, look it's got a swirl in it and everything. It's very cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's really nice, such a lovely blue colour. Yeah, it's very different from yours. Yeah, yeah, but both really lovely colours. I think, you oh, know, yeah. we, we've been really lucky at this beach. We yeah. haven't yet found any cod marbles here. No. Which is, well I don't know if that's surprising or not. I mean cod marbles are lovely. Yeah. But it's very rare to find these really colourful marbles here. Yeah, yeah, they're really rare. So I'm really glad we came here again. So that's really nice. That's cool. Yeah. Who knows? A little further along, maybe we'll find another couple. Ah, uh, yeah. You just say the magic words. Okay, here we are. We're heading back to the car, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Let's see if we find that. Thanks to everybody for giving us that wee magic tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Find. I found a piece of pink, but this one is my favourite find so far. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. Now, if you want to explain what that is, it looks like a little green blob with a nice, uh, some nice markings on it, but it's a bit more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely piece of turquoise milk glass and it has flowers on it and it's actually half a button. If I turn it around, you can see this little groove here and that's where the button would have had its little, well, its attachment. It's maybe a, a little loop or something. So yeah, so yeah that's my star find. Very cool. Uh -huh. Well, Nicole seems very excited. I'm guessing that Nicole's beat me to the task of uh, finding a marble, is that right? Yep. Have you? Oh. <laughs> I'll swing in from the right for a change. <laughs> oh, it's right by the waterline. So that has only just been left here. We're here as the tide is going out. Mm -hmm. um, the sun is shining on this, uh, what's well, now a seaweed and lichen cut. Lichen, so what is this? Uh, yeah, I think that is seaweed. Obviously reminds me of here. Yeah, so we're on this beach just as the uh, mm -hmm. as the tide's gone out. So this has really yeah. just been left behind by the tide. That's oh, really lovely. It's a beautiful marble. Now we just need a bead and we can go home. That's a really cool find. Really nice to find a wee marble. <laughs> Can you see it? Now I do love that chunky piece of dark sea foam but that pink piece of flash glass that is just amazing it does need a wee scrap um, but I'm sure it'll come out really lovely. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, perfect drop shape as well. Yeah, star find. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really nice. There's a wee piece of uh, blue transfer wheel here. Oh, I'm going to turn around again so that the sun is out my back. So that I'll have a better chance of seeing this clearly. That is really nice, it's really finely detailed. That's a really lovely wee bit. I think this is a wee piece of a cream jar. And it's a nice wee bit because we don't normally see so much of the label. But I think that's a wee cow's face and C-R-E. That's a lovely wee find. We did some digging and we found that this little shard with the lovely wee cow on it has a story to tell. Andrew Ewing established one of Scotland's biggest chains way back in the early 1900s and it was called Buttercup Dairies. And this wee shard shows part of the iconic store's marketing image. You can just make out the small girl's hand holding the buttercup under the cow's chin. Andrew Ewing's Buttercup Dairy was a huge success, though it would eventually collapse because of his generosity. Andrew's commitment to charity was such that he exhausted his wealth. His incredible success in business was only matched by his generosity and commitment to those who were less fortunate than he. When we discovered Alexander's story, we immediately thought about Oscar Wilde's tale, The Happy Prince. The once golden and bejeweled statue in Wilde's tale pleads with a swallow to pick out his jewels and strip him of his gold so that it can be given to the poor of the town in which he stands. Eventually, the statue is bare, no longer admired, its golden splendour long gone. But he is happy, joyous, knowing that the gold and jewels that once covered him and made him so admired were shared among the poor, so that the weight of poverty might be lifted for them even if just for a little while.
that's a part of the blue willow pattern. That's so pretty, it's got the boat on it. It's almost an entire scene. I'm sure we could place that um, on the uh, blue willow plate. There are lots of different designs, but they always have the kind of same key pieces on it. This is uh, looks like it's a little boat, there's a house here, and there's a tree there. Oh, that is so nice. That is a perfect piece, like a little painting. <laughs> oh, look, look at her, isn't she beautiful? Can you see it? It's a super gorgeous Victorian clay marble. And, okay, I'm just trying to, okay. <laughs> so, containing my excitement here, that is a marble. It's really lovely and I don't know if you can see it. You can see there's different types of clay in this marble. So there's a bit of grey here and a bit of kind of beige uh, uh, clay here. So it's just a mix of two different types of clay. They were made really cheaply, really fast, mostly the end of the day. Glazed with brightly colours. Oh, and this is a whole one as well. And, uh, well, they were very popular with uh, Victorian children as toys. So this one is coming home with me. And, well, maybe it'll end up in our Etsy shop. Let's see. There it is! So what is it? <laughs> what is it? I'll turn it around and then you can see its beauty! Oh that's really cool! You know the sun catches the uh, contours on that glass as well. Yeah. It's an amazing piece of privacy glass and I really love that pattern. It looks like it has maybe a four leaf clover on it. Well that's very cool. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Just uh, down, uh, down near the bottom of the piece there, mm. around kind of here. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Well, it's worth standing in the water as it's coming in. Can you see what I see? It's a lovely piece of transferware. Okay, let's get that. Ooh, it's cold. Cold water. Very nice red transferware with flowers again. Well, there's that insulator piece again. I think I've seen this the last two times we've been on this beach. And we've left it every single time because they're just not as pretty as the glass ones. So here, yeah, it's always tempting to think, should I take it, should I not take it? But I'm going to leave it and see if I can see it again the next time. <laughs> <laughs>